I do think that in a lot of ways, I mean, anime is sort of still having to prove itself because I can tell you right now in the voiceover world as a voice actor, um, if you're an anime dub voice actor, uh, you're sort of at the bottom of the, the food chain when it comes to voice acting. Uh, you're not, it's not revered. It's not like, oh my God. Well, it wasn't, it is now. It, it's a lot more now, but it used to be very much like, Oh, you dub anime. That's good for you. God, yeah. Maybe it's one day you'll, like be a, how comics you'll grow up to be a real right. voice actor. What did what, what, you say? Well, I said, you know, people would be like, well, maybe one day you'll grow up to be a real voice actor, you know? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, okay, whatever, dude. But it's funny because when you go to these conventions now, uh, you know, especially the, you know, the, I mean, an anime convention is one thing. But when you start going to these pop cons like Rhode Island Comic Con or, you know, even San Diego or New York Comic Con or whatever. I mean, when, uh, you know, New York Comic Con was uh, a few weeks ago. And, uh, I mean, they were pimping the you-know-what out of red. I mean, they had it up on Times Square. I was just in New York doing a signing. And in time, well, I was at a restaurant. And I looked out the window, and there's a giant projection of my hero academia on the wall in Times Square. I mean, you know, it's not, you know, what are they, this ain't your daddy's anime anymore. I mean, this is like, it is, it is reaching out exponentially across the board to people. So yeah, to see it in theaters like that is phenomenal. 